morning everybody and welcome to the GSM's Pride. This week we are going to go over the 2022 Ford Maverick. I happen to have one here which is a miracle because they're usually all pre-sold before they come in but luckily this one specifically is for an employee that works for the network so she did me the justice of letting me just do a walk around on it real quick so I'm going to show you all that so check it out. Where I first wanted to start with on the Ford Maverick is the impressive stats this vehicle has. This vehicle is a unibodied vehicle and it only weighs 3,693 pounds. However, the cool thing about this is it will pull 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds for a unibodied vehicle, it pulls more than it actually weighs. That is just an incredible stat to me. I just don't know how Ford has figured that out. It also will have a 1,500 pound max payload, which again, for such a small vehicle, it's just incredible. One cool thing about this vehicle, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, that Ford kind of screwed up a little bit when they went with the new Ranger. The Ranger is a lot bigger than the original Ranger, and that had such a following and a really big following that people really love that vehicle. And I think what they decided to do is bring out the Maverick because of that kind of nostalgia and that size range on that Ranger, they wanted to get bring that back. So let's check out some more of the car. So let me give you a couple of stats on this vehicle. The vehicle has a 2.5 liter full hybrid as a standard motor, 191 horsepower with 155 pounds feet of torque. The crazy thing is it will actually do 42 miles per gallon in the city, 33 highway and 37 combined, which is just incredible. As I stated earlier on, the max payload of uh, 1,500 pounds, which is really, really amazing on this vehicle. On the two liter EcoBoost, you have a 250 horsepower engine with 277 pounds feet of torque. It's got a 23 city, a 30 highway, 26 combined miles per gallon on the front wheel drive and on the all wheel drive, you have 22, 29 and 25, that's city, highway and combined. Uh, so again, it has really good stats when it comes up to the miles per gallon. The next thing I wanna to touch on is the back. So in the, in the bed, Ford have come out with this term, which I really, really love called the DIYer. Before I touch on that though, I do wanna bring up something. This vehicle starts at $19,999. Can you believe that we actually have a truck out there that is only $20,000 at its base price? That's just inc incredible to me. I, have no, I don't even know if there is a truck that starts at that low. So let's just jump in the bed and show you some of these features with the DIYs. The first feature I wanna actually point out to you in the bed is that it has a 110 outlet in the, in the, in the vehicle. Just like the F-150 where it's got multiple, they've actually made it so you can utilize the bed and actually charge some of your things or power some of your things. You know, if you want to do some uh, wood cutting on the back or whatever, but you do have the 110 uh, power outlet in the rear that runs off the battery, which is cool. Something that's really, really neat with this is if you notice over the bed here, they have some of these QR codes. Again, what Ford have done with this is they've made it into a DIYers haven. What they basically have come up with is all these things that you can do in the bed, like put a bike rack or a divider, and it's all done with just things that you buy from the hardware store, like for, you know, two by fours or whatnot. And if you see the slots in the front there, you'll actually see that there, there are slots already pre-made. I can't even believe that they, they came up with these ideas for the DIYer, it's just impressive. Not only that, on the back here, you've got a tailgate that will literally hold up to 400 pounds, which is crazy. And then you can also buy the extended um, bed extender will actually you can drive with the vehicle uh, tailgate down and actually have some, add some extension to the, the bed. As you can see this vehicle specifically has the the sliding rails to lock things in again it helps you out with a lot of things when you're trying to tie things down in the bed you know this vehicle is going to be such a good vehicle for um, delivery drivers of small items nothing obviously huge but again, you've got all these straps in, and it also has a, f a feature where you can add lighting package to underneath here, so when your bed is covered, or if it's dark, you can actually light up the entire bed. This one has a, a light in the rear here, but you can actually buy the rail lightings that will actually go into the vehicle. Another really neat feature, as you can see, is it has a multi-level tailgate. So you basically pull these wires, these are high tension, high weight, holding tensioning cables here, and all you literally do is you unclip them, you clip it down to the next section. And you can lower the bed. 
The cool thing about that slight tilt in there is if you wanted to just trap some wood in there or anything else that you want to carry around so it doesn't slide out the back, you can literally just lift the tailgate up a little bit and have that extra. So a couple of things in the rear I wanted to bring up which are actually phenomenal ideas. If you see this slot here, Ford have actually come up with a, with a lot of uh, QR codes, which I'll show you one in a second, where if you have a 3D printer or you know somebody with a 3D printer, they can 3D print multiple items for the interior. And obviously this slot is for rear cup holders. Next feature I want to show you is the storage in the back of this little tiny car. Here's the other crazy thing is I didn't, once I locked that up, it, was, it stayed up. There's the QR code that I mentioned and all these little uh, hatches here where you can uh, 3D print to fit things in but you've got plenty of storage in here. You can fit a basketball in here. You can fit your work attire. Whatever you need to put in the back, uh, you can fit it all underneath. So that gives you even more cargo space. In the back also, you've got a 120 volt uh, rear outlet, USB and then a USB-C. So if you wanted to tuck something underneath the, there and charge it out of the way so it's not visible, you can do that. One thing I really want to touch on, which I couldn't believe this when I found out about this, is the ergonomics of the door specifically they made these cutouts and if you want to show, show that one if you see the cutout on the door there the reason they made that is if you lift up this rear seat you can actually put a bike in width ways so the wheels actually fit in these slots and you can actually store your bikes this way for one vehicle now in a vehicle that you would think is this small I, that just blows my mind Another feature I really wanted to point out, Ford went a little uh, crazy on this end, but obviously with all the recycled um, features on it, you can actually fit a large bottle of water in there and it actually kind of locks in place so it doesn't move around and spill. Um, but they cut, cut this out on the front so you can fit, fit the uh, top in there. Um, it actually has a little label for water. So you can actually put your flask in there. Okay, let's take this bad boy for a drive. So a couple of things I really wanted to point out which are really surprising in this vehicle is for as small as you assume this vehicle is, it's actually pretty roomy inside. Zach's sitting here next to me and he's a pretty big guy as we all know and there's still quite a lot of room to be honest with you. They have done some really fancy touches with all this recycled material on the, on the dashboard. Um, at first when you first hear about recycled materials you kind of think uh, that's probably going to be a little chintzy, but it actually looks pretty good. It looks well finished off and I think it, it's neat. Obviously, it's got some really good features on the inside. It's got a, a six inch screen uh, as standard. And then if you upgrade to a Larry and above, you get the full eight inch screen. And they kind of made a little pocket here on the right hand side. So this is the two, two liter EcoBoost. Like any EcoBoost, it's got plenty of power. Get up and goes really smooth, really quiet. And actually, I'm just driving past a Ford F-150. It's not that much lower, to be honest with you. You, you uh, feel like you're a lot lower, but I don't think you really are that much lower. Obviously, it's got all the standard features. Bliss, blind spot detection, lane departure warning. Uh, this one particularly doesn't have automatic cruise, but uh, it does have cruise control, obviously. Um, but uh, this one's pretty well equipped. It's got the heated steering wheel. Heated seats, obviously, um, but uh, yeah, I like the way it drives. I really think the two liter EcoBoost is a, a plenty for this vehicle. Doesn't feel like it's labored when you put the, your foot down, it feels pretty good. I did actually get to drive the 2.5 hybrid in Dallas, Texas last year, um, and that, that hybrid was actually pretty impressive. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by that. Uh, down here on the center console, you've got your uh, weather, buttons to obviously decide your traction control and whatnot. Also, you can turn the traction control off. Uh, auto hold, which is always an, a neat little feature. Um, the one cool thing I really like about this car is a lot of cars don't give you this option anymore. You can actually turn the auto stop start off. Um, some people like it, some people don't. I don't personally mind it, but a lot of people have given us feedback and don't really like it. So you can turn that off and on here. And then you've got the hill, hill descent. Well, that's it for the Ford Maverick. I really don't think you can go wrong with a $20,000 truck. It really is impressive in many different ways and I really think this is gonna be a car for the future. Ford have actually came out and actually redesigned the Ranger 
to look very much like the front of the Maverick and I really do like the styling of this vehicle. Drives good, obviously you get the hybrid as the, as the standard feature engine. It just really is all round a really good truck. So that's it for this week's edition of the vlog. As always, got to post up a video on this side, a subscription page on this side to the GSM Pride up in the top corner there, the Lufuse Ford page. As always, hit that post notification button, hit the like button, comment, give me some feedback, and I'll see you all next week.